And then I believe that is the whole board for the four bosses. Now for Yang, I think we might have to defeat him to get these last ones, so let's go back. Okay, let's see, let's see. I don't want to see animal cruelty again. Dummy! I'm gonna try avoid more than parry this time. See if it makes a difference. Because I think fundamentally, parrying is nice, but avoid is what lowers our structure. And if we get hit by him... That's a lot of structure. Oh! The parrying is really nice, though. Do better. Try harder. One of the hard things about this battle is that his structure goes down super fast, so we can't we can't hang back and be like, okay, let's calm down. Try harder. See, he's back to the beginning again, and his health is still completely full, basically. So we have to try a little bit harder with continuing the battle. Ah! I can't walk away. Eight years. Come on. His structure is lower than mine. Focus on looking at his patterns. That's all you've got. After eight years of trying. Do better. Try harder. Dude, I can't the camera. I can't with a camera here like this. See, when he jumps back, I don't think there's a there's an opening for me to get him. If I parry him... Some of the strikes, obviously, we shouldn't be parrying, like the glowing ones. You're pathetic. But look! Okay, his structure is going up a lot more after I started parrying. I gotta periodically get a few hits in so that the, the structure doesn't go away. Oh, damn it. I've saved so many lives since taking your father's. But you won't accept that. What does that even mean? So like if if you save people, it's okay that you kill my father? Like I don't even understand what the logic behind that is. Because you're saying that my father hid these skills from everybody, these magical abilities. Okay, I can sort of see a one of the patterns here. Yeah, the one where he like moves back and then comes in at a 90 degree angle. I can- I can get that. When he moves back, he comes in with a low sweep. You never worked hard enough when you were young. I can see nothing has changed. Yeah, if I parry that one, then he gets stunned. Yes! 
Yes! Yes! Okay, now my structure is really high. I gotta avoid a little bit. Maybe let's alternate between avoiding and parrying. See, my structure is low again. That's great. Come on. Okay, now my structure is high. Can I avoid? Come here, dude. Okay, this part is significantly harder, because last time we couldn't even make it past. I can barely see he's moving so fast. Dodge. Oh, he's got a sweep. He's got a sweep. Alright, that Sifu didn't teach you this one. No, I think we're doing better already. Let's try parrying until our structure is too high and then switch to avoid. And avoid those ones, of course. Okay, those high, those orange strikes, I can't really. This is pathetic. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. He's getting me so much faster, though. The first round I feel like is manageable. Try again. Try harder. But we can't stop. Like if we move away, then the structure again, it just goes down. We gotta keep going up. Oh I couldn't even I couldn't do a ground counter for whatever reason. Oh, punishing of mistakes. This is gonna be more of a repetition thing. The more we try it, the more we learn his patterns. I can't do it. I can't do it consistently. But it's okay, we're in the beginning here. This is just like first try, basically. Try again. Try harder. Oh, I gotta keep avoiding. I stopped in the middle. Dude, we're doing it. Yeah, for some reason, it looks like ground counters don't work against him. You never worked hard enough when you were young. I can see nothing has changed. Does it work? Let me try again. It really doesn't. 
It really doesn't. Here I don't really have time to think about, oh, should I be parrying or avoiding? I'm mainly trying to avoid. Okay, I'm not gonna bother trying the ground counter then, since it doesn't work. Damn it. Oh! Oh man. Oh, but we're doing so much better though, because the first time around, we couldn't even get his structure up. Just wait for him. I could go in a little bit myself too. Very risky. Oh! Okay, that was the first. Oh, I think we were really, really close that time. Did you see his structure was so high too. Yeah, that's okay because it's the last guy. This should be a little bit harder. I think I prefer this way. All right, mister. Do better. Try harder. My god, I am in- Whoa, I'm in the zone! I only died one time, what the hell? Wait, don't, don't. <laughs> Come on. Try harder, you fool. Oh my god. Okay, 29 to 23 in stage one. Big improvement. Calm down here. Actually, I don't think calming down is the right move. Your father didn't have time to teach you this. Uh, it's really... It's really interesting here because it feels like a very continuous I don't know how to describe it. I've saved so many lives since taking your father's. And you won't accept that. You are blinded by vengeance. There's a very continuous feel to this fight. Stop! Yo! Hmm. 
Hmm. Like, right now, I don't know the moves well enough yet, but... The way... Yeah, the, cause, because the structure goes down. They really encourage the fight to just flow and continue. They discourage you walking away. If you walk away like I did the first time around, you'll never be able to do anything. get a thing in on him when he was down. You never worked hard enough when you were young. Shut up. <laughs> but you can see though there are certain moves that I'm getting good at like avoiding the big Let's strike. See if teach you this one. Okay, not that one apparently. Dude, look at the way the parrying went. Feels so badass when that goes well. And then I feel less badass when that happens. <laughs> We're only 33! Try again. Try harder. It's okay, it's okay. I can feel it. It's happening. It's gonna happen this time. Is it gonna happen within my range? Maybe not. But we're close. Mess that one up. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Like in our 20s just now, it felt like I was in some sort of a zone. Shut up, I don't want to hear you talk. Oh my god. Okay, we were we we're so close right now. See your body giving up on you. So it's yours. <laughs> Only one hit. That's it. Hey, we did it. Oh. Oh no. Wait, I have to have it on my body, right? Now that you spent all of your life trying to get revenge, do you feel happy? You were supposed to guard the talisman, not steal it. 
It's the only way to save them, Sifu! You failed to honor your oath. You are unworthy. Now leave. She who has Gong Fu and Wu De makes the other know she can break him. Her hands go out like lightning, and the other doesn't want to fight anymore. Wu De is the one of the plaques that we saw in the Wu Guan, the one that meant conduct. Your martial arts conduct. Wait, what? Well, that's the end? They just let me do this again? Oh, mm, well, after defeating all of the, the guys here, let's see. Yang's flowers. This was on Yang's tree above two tombs, two lost souls. This was the beginning of the end for him. He who has Kung Fu and Wu De makes the other know he can break him, and the other doesn't want to fight anymore. This is Wu De. This is a, a branch from the tree outside, right? And I think it's basically saying, like, if you are a benevolent, good person who practices martial arts, then you are powerful, but you don't use it for revenge. You don't spend your whole life trying to get revenge and then just kill the people. You have this power, you let them know that you can break them, but you don't. Which leads me to the last thing that I want to do here. Oh, there's one thing here. Yang suffered a great loss, a loss that made him bitter and blinded. Could things have been different? So these things I think are supposed to be hints that there's a different ending to this game here. Apparently if we go back and then do the whole game again, and this time when we fight the bosses, if we break their structure but don't kill them, apparently that gives us a new option to spare them. And then once we spare everybody, we'll get a new ending. And presumably this last little piece here? Which, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go! Hello, Fajar. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Probably not gonna fuss too much about the age this time. Yeah, I mainly want to see how much I improved since the first time I played level 1. We have to increase the structure, get the takedown thing to appear, but then not press it. Oh, look at this immediate improvement. It's so marked. I'm still making mistakes, but... Oh, compared to the beginning. Even I'm proud of myself. <laughs> oh! Oh, sorry, Fajar. Oh, this is such a minor boss now, now that we've gone through all that. Right, so the first round, we still gotta get through. Haven't seen these cinematics in so long because I skipped them every time. <laughs> Remember the first time? I was here for like an hour and a half. Oh my god. Oh, already? I think we should be parrying more if we want to increase the structure. I don't know if I should be hitting him, because look, his health is going down too, and I don't want that. Uh. 
I can defeat you, but I won't. That's the kind of message we're sending here. Oh, we can use this. Ow! Here we go. That really increases the structure, having a weapon. Shoot, I killed him! Shoot! <laughs> eight long years preparing for this. Wait, wait! Okay, let's not let's not kill him this time, alright? This is so sad! We can beat him so easily now, I have to like consciously try not to kill him. I'm so sorry, Fajar, this is such a big disrespect. Yeah, the weapon increases its structure by a lot more. So does parrying. Look at how deliberate I have to be about not killing you, dude. Oh, hey, that's a little bit dangerous. Let me let him get up. And then I'll go find another weapon. I let you get up, dude. Do you not see what I'm doing here? There we go! I could... But I won't. Interesting. that uniform. It represents a school for the weak. Oh, I can't believe how easy you are now. Oh, I'm so touched looking at this. This is kind of insane. It would certainly help if I could see what I was doing, though. Let's see. 
Okay, I'm really hoping this is gonna be the run, but I've been having trouble because I've killed him too fast. I can't spare him. <laughs> I have to spend more effort thinking about how to get his structure to go up without his health going down. Oh, dear goodness. Grab a weapon. That's okay. We're here to spare him. Name a more iconic duo. Me and Sean and 21. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna grab another staff. I didn't mean to spare him here. I just needed another staff so that we have a fresh staff going in. But now I gotta use it again. So that didn't really pan out. Probably should have just went to the second stage. A smoker. That's not good. Don't smoke, kids. You're almost as good as Yang. I thought he was unchallenged at that old bat. <laughs> I have to try to parry him a little bit more. Yeah, I'm parrying here. It's increasing his structure. But it's increasing my structure too. That's the one scary thing. We gotta be careful. Could have gotten that. I don't know if I should be getting him while he's down or not because that might not really decrease the structure or increase it that much. See, it doesn't look like it, but his structure is increasing because I'm parrying him. I can't see, dude! Growl, Sean says. Growl. It's gonna decrease my own structure a little bit. I can also decrease it just by simply avoiding, really. Okay, I'm probably gonna die again. Yeah, but I need to I need to parry you so that you can your freaking structural increase. Now I understand how you were able to defeat the mute. Gotta be careful not to, like, accidentally press it, too. Yeah, there we go. 
Is this a joke? I'm gonna need you to... Okay! It's honestly harder to spare them than to kill them. Maybe that's sort of a metaphor too. It's easy to give into the power. But holding back takes restraint. We burned down his little plaque. It's her sister. I do not want to fight you. That feeling of vengeance. It will not cease here. She's not wrong. I speak from experience. Now leave. Or be forced to. Hopefully, sparing you is not going to be a big problem. You know, now that I go through the boss fights like this, I realize that there's a very clever little bit of design here. The first three bosses, including Kuroki, their structures never really decrease. But Jin Fang's does because they want you to get used to the idea that Yang's will as well. Because Jin Fang is okay because she has low health. Because what does structure mean? Structure means that you have to continuously apply damage and pressure to your opponent for it to build. And Jin Feng is okay because you can kill her with structure or with her health, but Yang, you have to get him down with a structure increase, basically. Anyway, I'm talking a little bit too much here. Let's get some sparing going on. Man, I really don't feel like dealing with this right now. Could you just... <laughs> Jump? Ah, oh, I can't get you. I mean, I don't mind dying, but I'd rather avoid it if I can. <laughs> if I stand still, that's when it comes back the fastest. Which makes sense. Yeah, it just never decreases. That's why I'm able to walk away from Kuroki as much as I need to. I can always reset. Die already? I could rush in. Oh my god, you're so close. Save my feeble little life here.
It's like she's merging with her sister. Okay, we gotta parry, not avoid. I know a hundred ways to kill you. You should have run when she gave you the chance. Ha! Ah, I can do that so easily now. Helps that I have a bat with me. Okay, now I might need to put in a little bit more effort. This is your end. Woo! Did you see how long I lasted for? I'm getting so much better. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. Only because I had to spare you too. If I didn't have to, you'd be dead already. Hello, Jinfeng. For whom does the bell toll? You want revenge. And to restore that which once was. But that suffering, it was for something. Yours, mine, even Yang's. We did something for the people. We shared. You want to erase it all? Bell tolls for you. The Guardian's legacy. Now, accept your sentence. Is she talking about how Yang chose to use his powers to heal people? I guess so. But then what about you guys? What have you guys contributed? <laughs> uh, maybe I should try the Eye Strike here. I'm not sure which one builds more structure. But we gotta hurry up. First round is okay. First round is whatever. Second round is where it's gonna be a little bit more. Something wrong? 
Ooh, it's so fast because we're so close. And this time, I don't have that much focus. I didn't spec into focus again because I realized it's gonna be useless for Yang. <laughs> Damn you! I'm trying to keep my staff for the second round, but I don't know if I can. Not really sure what her power is. Making things float midair, controlling time. You must yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, wrong side, wrong side. Trying to parry. Don't stand there. Give me my staff back. Look, it does help. You should have finished me. I'm trying to parry all the hits. Look, she's almost done again. One death per boss while trying to spare them? Not so bad if I say so myself. Yang though, that's gonna be a different story. So there was actually a reason for those prompts. It's a talisman's. You can see the woods. The fire. Oh, that's what they were looking at. The water. And earth. Well, it's time to face Yang again. Let's see how this goes.
Time has passed since the days I trained you. We were family. At least, that's what I believed. But then, during my darkest days, your father revealed his true self. He never cared about us. He cast me out. He abandoned us. Tell me, what would you do to save the people you love from the inevitable? Wouldn't you cross every line? Break every rule? Wouldn't you challenge death itself? You want revenge, little sister? It's been a while, big brother, but I still remember your movesets. Oh my god, I actually do. We can parry him. Yeah, that one time when he moves away. He's doing the same moves, what the hell? You dummy! Oh my god. <laughs> what? Wow. 35 to 40. In the end, you're still that same child I knew. Helpless. Like the night I killed your father. You're here in front of me only because of this pendant. But what if I take it from you? Will you fear death once again? You sound like the frightened one to me. This phase is significantly harder. I need to go back to avoiding when my structure is too high. I bet Sifu didn't teach you this one. Oh, you idiot. Oh! Oh, I couldn't get him. I mean, this is expected, but I, I'm so proud of myself. Oh my god, how far have I come? That's all you've got. After eight years of training. We can't back away, we gotta keep going. It's the whole point of this fight. We can't carefully examine, we just have to know his patterns so well that we can do it. Your reliance on your gift will be your downfall. I gotta hit him too though. Oh, this fight is beautiful. 
It's so beautiful how I parry him and then he parries me. Like, technically. I'm not really one to understand how intricate the combat system is, but it really feels so beautiful. You are blinded by vengeance. Oh, and then when I make a mistake, he punishes me. Can we do it? Can we do it? Try again. Try harder. I'm too aggressive. <laughs> this is pathetic. Can we do it? For 440? We did it! My goal! My goal! I don't have the pendant. But I also don't have a health bar. Dude, the camera's too close. I can't control this properly. I don't think we can actually die here. I'm guessing. My man's controlling the flow of the fight, just moving me left and right. But you know who's gonna win? Oh, thank God. I thought they were really gonna make me do a third phase. 
I mean, we are doing it, but it's not like an actual one. Wait, should I have killed him or... Did I need to spare him again? Oh, thank God. This is Uda. Oh. Oh. Because he was really besting me. And I guess, yeah, without the pendant, I die. If my death counter just... I'm trying to look at my body. Do I have the pendant? I can't tell. Oh, whoa. Did I die and go to heaven? I don't think so, but... Look at the scenery. Oh, the talisman's on the ground. A stark contrast with the first ending because we can finally breathe easy this time. Because we didn't kill anybody. We've trained and trained and trained and we have all this power and strength. But we don't use it to focus solely on killing people just to get revenge. Which is kind of a sad, miserable life. You're spending so much time on something so hateful. Yeah, let's not, let's not focus on doing this anymore. We'll just show them that we can do it, but we don't. And spare them. Now we can finally let it go and breathe. Woo! Sifu! Sifu! Hey, I did it within my goal of 35 to 40. Yeah, and the, the greatest thing is... Okay, I'm not gonna go back and try to go for 20 or whatever, but... um, Yeah, the greatest thing is I, I don't think I even cut out any of my Yang attempts. Just going through the bosses again and then coming back, suddenly... At some point, suddenly things just clicked. And if I didn't have to spare him, I could have gotten him even earlier too, so that's... Wonderful to see. The last battle is really... I don't know how well it comes across in video form if you're not the one playing it, but it really is a culmination of everything you've learned up until now. In the beginning, they'll let you back away and read the people more carefully, so the structure stays the same, but the fact that it drains down, it creates this very nice flow to the battle where he attacks you, you evade it, you answer it, and then you attack him back, and then he answers, he strikes you, you answer back, and then it just goes back and forth, back and forth, without break. Because again, if you stop, then the structure will go down again, which means you're not going to defeat him. For the actual story, I guess my dad and the other Kung Fu Masters were just sort of the keepers of these forbidden magics, and then Yang decided to steal them to heal people. So he's doing a good thing with it, but at the cost of having murdered my father, yada yada yada. But, you know, let's be honest here, no one's really playing this for the story anyway, so it's just sort of um, It's just sort of a thing that's in the background, and... Sure, fine. The combat system alone is definitely more than enough to uh, keep you engaged if you're into this sort of game. Which, to be honest, I feel like I've never played stuff like Dark Souls or Bloodborne or Sekiro or anything. So I'm not really, I'm not really the kind of person who's into hard games. And if I had knew ahead of time that Sifu is sort of in this category, then I probably would have thought a lot more about trying it. But I didn't know because even back in December when I played the demo, it wasn't like this. <laughs> it wasn't this hard because they didn't show any of the bosses. I don't know if they specifically meant to, but it felt like maybe they were trying to hide that fact a little bit. And here, when we started playing, I was like, oh, whoa, this is 
not quite what I expected, but hey, we got through it. And the last run that we did here, with a true ending sparing everybody, oh my god, the difference between that and all the grinding before in the level 1, I think that's... That was the biggest reward to me. It wasn't the hours of grinding to get to age 20, it was that. Because that was when it really showed me that, oh wow, compared to the very beginning when I did level 1, like this is, this is different, I, I know a lot more now. And I guess it was a good thing that they did it this way. Yeah, the true ending gives you an incentive to do it again, and then wow, at that point you realize that, hey, I learned. And another reason I'm glad they had that was because I feel like <laughs> the story of the player trying to spend endless hours grinding to get better at this game mimics the story of the main character trying to get revenge for his or her father a little bit too much. Like, what's the point? It's all useless in the end. Oh. Oh, I become my own Sifu. Four of them started glowing. What does that mean? Oh. Wow. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. We got to go back because we... There was one thing that we were missing in the detective board, right? Probably we'll get to see it now. But... Yeah, it, it sort of put me back here as if I'm playing the game again because they gotta let me play again. Which is fine. Hey! Hey! Let me see the board. Yes. This is where everything ended. Once and for all. Everything. Sacred mountains. Mmm, I died, but... Yeah, Yang probably gave me back the pendant because he saw that I, s I spared him and he's like, whoa, and then maybe that caused him to have a change of heart too. But what happened to him? I don't know. Hmm. Oh, we can see the talismans on the people's pictures. I hadn't even noticed until now. Oh, I see. No longer an X. A circle. We got them, but they're not dead. I see. Okay. Well, I guess that's that then. Sifu. Fun little game. Although it took a lot more time than I really imagined spending on it. But hey, it was a fun enough journey. Yeah. There is one last thing I wanted to talk about, which I've gone back and forth on if I should even bring it up at all. But um, if I'm going to say that this is a more Chinese culture or story driven playthrough, then I feel like it's a little bit disingenuous of me to not even talk about it. I mean, I've talked about it all throughout the game already, actually. But I wanted to make a final summation on it because I do have some thoughts. If you weren't aware, there's been a little bit of a discussion, a little bit, I mean a lot. <laughs> there's been a lot of discussion on the internet about the use of Chinese culture in Seifu. Especially because Slow Clap, the devs, are French, I believe. So this is a, a game about Chinese culture, martial arts culture, by a French studio. Ah, for full disclosure, I should probably mention that I received a package in the mail from the Sifu people. They sent me some goodies that I tweeted about, but I don't think I mentioned on video before, so I probably can't be fully unbiased. But if you've been around for a while, then you know that I don't generally trash games anyway, so make what you will of that. So all of the, the controversy has been sort of revolving around the point of whether a French studio should be making a game about a culture that they're not really familiar with. And there's, uh, I'm, I'm really boiling it down here. There's a lot of different sub points, but that's the basic gist of it, I think. I get the impression that a lot of people have added their voices into this conversation without even understanding, like, for example, like, can they even read Chinese to begin with? It's not a requirement to know what to talk about it, but if you don't, then I feel like you have to find a reliable source on all the different aspects of Chinese being used in the game first, and then we can have this conversation, right? Because otherwise, how can you know enough to talk about it? You can't. So with that said, I only have my own personal experience to go off of, and my Chinese is not that good, okay? You might get the wrong impression here because you don't speak Chinese, but what my Chinese level is like is I, I would say that I can read the newspaper comfortably, but if you throw like a freaking PhD thesis at me, I probably wouldn't be able to read it that well. And my verdict on the use of Chinese language in this game, not anything else because, you know, stuff like Chinese martial arts. I don't know anything about martial arts. I can't comment on how authentic the moves are or whatever. 
but the language? Let's put it this way. It's unnatural enough that I could tell something was off within the first five minutes of playing the demo last December. We've also already talked a lot about the mistakes on the writings on the walls. I feel like over 80% of it was probably Google translated, which to me feels like leaves a lot of room for improvement. If this is a game about anything other than Chinese culture, but it just happened to have this one little section on Chinese culture, then hey, sure, mistakes, whatever. But if this whole game is about Chinese culture and you're making these mistakes consistently, personally, I think it's pretty disappointing because people who don't speak Chinese are not going to know the difference. And if you're going to do such a big portrayal of somebody else's culture, I feel like you do have some responsibility to get it right. Do I think this is out of malice, like a conscious sort of malice? Absolutely not. I read an article about how they changed the, the washing machine in the first level from front-loading to top-loading or something because that's more commonly seen in China. I know the composer for the soundtrack is Chinese. I can tell they've hired some Chinese people for the voice acting. Jin Feng was a very obvious example. I can tell they put some effort into these things, but I can also tell that comparatively, relatively, they put less care into the writing. Forgoing texts sounding unnatural, forgoing texts making mistakes, like mirrored text, upside down text. I've seen some people say that, hey, maybe it's mirrored because they were mirroring assets and they forgot to change it back. Okay, but the upside down text was really not good. Because intentional or not, the message that it's giving off is, hey, Chinese is a bunch of squiggly lines. We'll just, you know, do whatever and flip it up and it'll still be squiggly lines that people recognize as Chinese. So whatever, it's fine. People can't read it. And note that I said intentional or not here because it doesn't have to be like a conscious effort being like, hey, hey I hate Chinese people, so I'm going to do this, okay? Maybe it's something they just didn't think very hard about. I want to believe that Slowclap spent several years of their gaming studio life making a game about Chinese martial arts because they like Chinese martial arts. I think that's a pretty easy thing for me to imagine. But at the same time, I feel like they need to spend more resources making sure that it's authentic and accurate. If you guys follow me on other social media like Twitter, then you might have seen me talk about Sleeping Dogs before. I love this game to death. It is also a game that's not made by a Chinese studio. It's a game set in Hong Kong, made by a Canadian studio. And it probably wasn't perfect. It's been a while since I've played it, but I could also tell that they hired a million Chinese people to get it right. So it's not not possible just because you're not from the same culture. It's going to be a lot harder, but it can be done. And just because I said all this doesn't mean that I think Sifu is a horrible, bad game. I think there's room for multiple of these things to be talked about. Like, we can talk about how Sifu is an amazing martial arts combat game, but so-and-so-and-so, right? So, yeah. I actually, not about the game specifically, but I shared some of my feedback on how I felt about the items in the creator's kit, the goodies package they sent out, because uh, some of it is a little bit like, it's the same sort of stuff that's going on in the game. Like, maybe they didn't really review it properly and their community manager was pretty receptive to it. They were like, oh yeah, thank you for letting us know. I'll, I'll definitely share this with the rest of the team. So I think their heart is in the right place. It's just that there's um, a lot of room for improvement in their execution. Yeah, so that's uh, that's basically my feelings on this topic here. I'm a little bit hesitant to talk about this because I'm, I'm not here for drama, but I feel like, you know, if it's at the end of my, my own Let's Play series on my channel in my little corner of the internet, I figure that's probably pretty okay. And feel free to share your thoughts with me as well. Whether you speak Chinese or not, that's totally fine. I know there's a... I feel like from reading the comments, there's a good portion of Chinese-speaking people watching this, and I think among Chinese people, you're gonna get different opinions on this too. People who were born and live in China versus Chinese diaspora, you're gonna get different opinions because these groups have totally different upbringings, but... Yeah, feel free to share your thoughts, and um, with that said, this was Well Ends with Sifu. I hope you enjoyed my suffering as much as I enjoyed suffering. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you all in another place in another time. Bye!